A senior member of Israel's government landed in Ottawa this afternoon to ask Stephen Harper to help him harden the international approach to Iran. In Geneva this past week, six world powers discussed a possible softening of economic sanctions against Iran in light of its new, more moderate president. But the top Israeli official warns Iran's nuclear program is still a major threat. He'll be in Washington Tuesday to meet with the U.S. Vice President, but on his way, he stopped in Ottawa to meet with Prime Minister Stephen Harper and Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird tomorrow. Earlier, I spoke with Israeli Intelligence Minister Yuval Stanitz. Hello, Minister. Hello, good to be here in Ottawa. There are a number of countries in the international community that seem to be softening their approach to Iran. Will you be asking Prime Minister Harper to, he's been a strong ally of Israel, to keep up? his sort of hard-line uh, approach to Iran? Uh, I think so. Look, uh, it's not a secret. The Iranians are coming to the negotiation table, maybe with some willingness to at least partial compromises, only for one reason, because of the pressure, the very severe economic pressure. And therefore, uh, it won't be uh, uh, smart to relieve the pressure before there is final uh, satisfactory agreement. So do you think that some members of the international community are being fooled by this more moderate No, I, 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 well, I wouldn't uh, uh, put it that way. I think that it's our job and duty uh, to share views, analysis and information with the international community in order that uh, no, mis no uh, uh, serious mistakes will be done because uh, the Iranian nuclear threat is not just a threat to little Israel or to the Middle East. We highly appreciate the Canadian position and we are confident that uh, this will, uh, will be so in the future as well until this problem will get a final and satisfactory solution. Mr. Stanis, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you.